Today we were having a little fun in the shop and we decided that we needed to test this turbo diesel oil cooler for leaks because it was showing signs of some oil down here. We're going to be welding on a new fitting and hey, I don't want to go to all that trouble if this is leaking. I talked to Jerson about it. He said, hey, let's try to figure out how to use compressed air to test this, see if we got bubbles, you know, stick it in water. He says, hey, Kent, let's use our pressure tank. This is our pressure brake bleeder right here and we keep finding more and more uses for this it's kind of amazing but today I'm using this to test this oil cooler to see if there's any leaks here in those lower fins so we uh, hooked it up to a rubber fitting and now I'm going to go ahead and pump up pressure and if there's a leak you know it's going to bleed down I'll even use some better bubbles here that you use to find leaks and gas pipes and we'll spray that down to see if there's any leak at all probably seven eight pounds is enough and let's see how it holds okay now if there's a leak here that's going to start dropping right away okay that looks pretty good now let's come down here and I'm going to spray a little of this better bubble right in here to see if we got any leaks at all. I mean, this stuff will really bubble up if there's a leak. Look at that. No leaks. So this oil cooler is definitely worth saving. <laughs> and keep in mind, one of the reasons why this particular pressure tank works so well with testing is we install this pressure gauge so you can monitor pressure and any type of leaks. And that's why it works great too for a cooling system and radiator tester as well.